Right, rear lights. So this is a Ford Ranger light, but this video is going to show you how to look at different lights of the same type and look at the quality. Now, we obviously source different lights from different sources and we sell them on various channels, our website and eBay. But how do you know when you're buying a light whether uh, what you're getting, what quality you're getting for your money? So rather than saying our lights are better or worse or better value, I thought I'll show you. I've managed to get essentially the same light from different suppliers and I'm going to show you what to look for, what to expect. And for some people, this light, which is our cheapest light, will be perfect. Um, but I'll show you the problems. Right. So they're all slightly different, but don't worry about that. That one's got a fog light. That one hasn't. That one's smoked on the end. We'll get to that one. But don't worry about this, effectively we're just looking at how the light is made. Right, the box is one thing. With a good quality light, you'll get a nice box that protects it. And this is our cheapest light. The box is actually not too bad. Right, but no one's worried about the box too much. Um, right, this light here is our cheapest light. Now, what makes a cheap light cheap? It's things like this on this edge here. Can you see it's got where it's come out the mould, they haven't smoothed it. It's sharp. And if you look at the surface, it's going to be hard to tell. But when you look at the surface, there'll be like minor scratches and stuff in it. Can you see those, Ian? I don't know if you yeah, can, we can see get them on the red bit up here. Um, just because the way they're made, and it's when they make the injection moulds, they don't polish the, the moulds fully. And so the, the edges are a bit funny. Um, again, marks, gem. And then if you look how the lens is glued on, sometimes you can see it's not too bad on that one. The glue is oozing out. You can see a bit of mould flash here. Let me just turn the phone off. Okay, right. Um, let's keep going. Right, wiring, wiring. Now, not all lights will have wiring, but if your light has got wiring, sometimes they ship them without the wiring. What do we need to look for? Now, on the back of the light, you should have a seal. Now, it looks like it's sort of got one here, and the seal should go round the wire and make it waterproof so water doesn't get into the back of the connector. Now, if water gets into the back of the connector, it comes through and these little pins in here start to turn all green and you'll start to lose contacts and you'll get unreliable lights. So it looks like it's got, it might have some in there. That that red one looks like it's, it's sort of coming out a bit. I'll show you what they look like, if I can get that one out. No, he's not coming. Oh yeah, he is, look. So they're little, they're little rubber seals. Now that one's the wrong size, it's not, or it's not being inserted. So that's some problems you get. And you get the same problem at this end. The where these wires are going in, you might get air going in. And then that will cause these contacts to... Another problem you get is when you go to put these in, they don't fit very well. And, and they should be quite a tight fit because... This rubber O-ring or foam ring should be a waterproof seal. It should be stopping the, the, uh, the water getting in. Um, what else have we got on the back of it? Sometimes they come with them without bulbs. Now this, this one I think had another fault. Um, the locations all look okay. A lot of these lights have a little holder where you're supposed to dock this. Oh no, where was it on this one in? Can you see it? Hello. No. Um, they I'll seem have to have just made it extra, extra long, and, long just and it's like take it all the way up and round. Um, but often those bits don't clip in. But there we go. That's it. It's not too bad. It, it's a bit creaky. They might they might leak. Um, right. That's a, so. But fundamentally, it'll do the job. Jump. But and it's ideal if you've got a farm truck or something that's not likely to truck, last too it, long. It will look alright when someone looks around the truck. Um, right. What's the next one? So the next one is also. Um, made by a better manufacturer it's still made in china this one um the quality is better the surface finish is better when you look at this edge here it's a lot better we haven't got the big um this one doesn't come with a wiring loom but just the general quality the feel of it is a lot better it's not creaking um sometimes the um the slightly better quality ones don't come with a loom because you use your oe loom yeah whereas the the cheaper ones will come with their own loom which is a slightly cheaper than OE yeah. sort of version, which is why you might be a better light, but without some of the features yes. like that. Um, so there we go. But that's a better. That's that's what we would. That's a premium budget. That's a budget. That's a premium budget. 
Now we're getting on to the slightly better ones here. This one's made by Depot, a very famous company in Taiwan. Uh, this light is e -mark. So what is an e-mark? Um, and where is the e-mark? So if you look on here, a better light will have an e-mark. Can you see that in? Yeah. Which is a little e in a circle, which means it's been tested to European standards. And there's a, a certificate somewhere in the world that says it's been done, tested by someone independently. Um, the finish is much better. It's much smoother. This edge here, you can see how clean that is. There's, there's no burr or marks along there. It is worth just pointing out on the front lens, though. You will get certain imperfections like this little circle i don't know if we can which will be on the original one we'll have a look yeah yeah but that's that's just part of injection molding it's there uh, are, and there and are it's part of the design bits. i think yeah. you'll find it on the original we'll have a look um the reflector quality will be much better the way the lines the surface finish is better let's have a look at the wiring so the wiring is much better all the seals are in the non-used one's got a nice blank in it the wiring's all nicely taped. There's minimum length of exposed, unprotected wire. Um, it's a much better light. Um, let's have a look how these, these, they're nice and tight. In fact, so tight, I can't. There you go, they're super tight, so they're a nice seal. These come with the bulbs, the other one didn't come with the bulbs. Um, much better quality. Let's have a look if I can, when you plug it in, that's super tight, so. That's not going to gather seal. Just the quality of those, the other one with the gap, they're nice and tight. So there we go. That's a sort of premium aftermarket light with, with E-Mark. Then, so this is actually a genuine Ford light. So let's take a look at this. This should be the best. Um, again, like Ian pointed out in the last one, this one actually, it's part of the design. It's actually more pronounced on this one. This one. So, so often they, when they copy the light, they actually copy this, which is probably a manufacturing thing, as Ian alluded to um, right the reflector is nice and bright the edges are super smooth and as you can see I mean it's even the same color and everything as the, the even the way they tape it this one's got some really nice seals in the back full seals it's got the plug in the non-used one uh, this one's actually got that the others are missing the little holder there that I think that goes into the car somewhere to stop the connector rattling around now that was supposed to be right angled on the on the copy ones they did it straight didn't they that uh, we've got right angle oh they got on that. on that one but on this one are they this? i think they've got it on there no, no, they've got it yeah yes. but but the tape the, the tape hasn't even held on that one the tape's gone but again not a problem if you're on a farm um so that's a genuine one i don't know there's a lot else we can look at but it's the subtle things that make um different quality lights so on our website we're going to try and give them sort of a star rating and it'll be like a one, two, three, four star. Last one on the list Ian's put here is just um, just to show we do do accessory lights as well. So often they'll look totally different. But it again, might be an LED variant, or but these tend to come in all the different class ranges of light as well. And it, it's harder to compare because they've got LEDs. The way the structure and it's it's done is different. Uh, but it's another thing to consider if you're changing your lights. Do you want to just replace it with one of these or do you want to use it as an opportunity to upgrade to LED or smoked or later model lights? Well, there you go. Hope that sort of educated you a bit on lights. You'll find them on eBay, different prices. Um, just pick the one that suits your budget slash use best.